Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do a quick reading. Well, it won't be, I don't know if it'll be quick, but it's a reading for the end of August. If this entry could go into September, I don't know. I don't know your life, I swear I don't. Um, but if you would like for me to know your life, you can always book a personal reading. Anyhow, let's jump into this Scorpio. Um, I don't have many Scorpio friends. But I have a Scorpio guy that um, is interested in me, but um, I don't have many Scorpio. Well, you know what? No, I'm taking that back. I have two. Let me shut up. Anyhow, um, Scorpio. So let me tell you this. Girl, guy, you, your standards are so high. I mean, they're the the what you're looking for is not impossible that's what i want to tell you um and you can have whatever you want but i think even you are coming to a place of contemplation about what you expect your expectations and your standards um you you might even be contemplating that you know are they so high that i'm i'm, I'm xing myself out um, or if not standards, just expectations. Are my expectations kind of outlandish? You, you're only asking the question, and that's good because that's self-reflection. But it looks like here in your love life, you might have more than one option. And you're thinking about who can I have long-term stability with? children a home luxury um just greatness with who will that be who can that be um you may even be going to a past person this could be the mother of your children or this could be a working mother this could be someone you're interested in and you you kind of have a high regard for them already but and they check most of your boxes, but now you need to get clear about some things. And um, you may be going to them and wanting to have a conversation with them um, about their expectations of you, of the relationship, what they want from you, or vice versa. They're doing this with you. You want to know if you can move forward with this person. You might even be dealing with somebody who's a little blocked. It, meaning, meaning um, they've got their wall up also. They're mysterious in a way, and this could be you, Scorpio. This is how someone feels about you. They don't know what you want, what you expect, um, and they want to come to you and, and have that conversation with you. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be anybody, fire sign, literally anybody, okay? Um, everybody's on the table, so it could... If it fits your story, it fits your story. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. Um, you mean, yeah, you're going through this person. You got the Knight of Swords twice in your love spread. You want to know. I just want to be clear. Not confrontational, but definitely clear. It may come off a little aggressive or confrontational, but it, that, I don't think that's the, the, the underlining tone. That's not it. It's just more so. You're thinking about who you can marry, who you will marry, the, the long term. You really, it's really starting to set in for you because um, it could be that your financial sector in your life is going very well. You have a lot to offer, um, and you you just want to know who you could share your legacy with. Who would you leave a legacy with? Um, once again, back to high, 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 high standards. And, and that's okay. Because it looks like you, you have someone in mind, or this is how someone feels about you, Scorpio. They have you in mind in regards to you checking every box for them. But there's still an air of um, misunderstanding, not understanding, not being clear, guardedness, either you or they. Somebody just wants to have a real conversation with you because 
you have the card um we need to have a long talk and you have the heart to heart right here so someone wants to have a heart to heart with you um because they someone is also reminiscing about good times and past times so this could be someone that has a child with the the counterpart you, you're thinking about him or thinking about her you're thinking about you know could you actually come back together could do you want to put the work in to do that um yeah that's what you, could be a virgo here a cancer those are the specific signs that i have could be a scorpio like yourself the six of cups showed up um it could be anyone okay uh you're wondering um who can i have health wealth and happiness with who can i start my life with i've done a lot by myself you know now this is a tough decision for you partly because of your standards partly because maybe you have more than one option um this is good energy this is good to have you know um, just the questions of who could I make it work with who and um, I'll pull some cards at the end of this to maybe give you um, a, I don't know give you a little bit more uh, insight to who you should choose or just a starting point I guess these are just cards and it's a general reading so do what you will with that energy um it's so I also want to say some of you might just not be satisfied with your options or you're hoping that an old you see you were hoping that an old person a person that you have history with will get their shit together or be better or to be better and you're not seeing that something else or someone else is being offered to you or vice versa this is how someone is viewing you they they're you have you you're an option they're not seeing that you are the option. You're the blessing. Um, they could be focused on old person, old people. Uh, so so that that's there also. Okay. Um, very independent, very abundant. Whomever you're looking at, they're the same way. Um, I'm just hearing they don't ask you for much. Not in terms of money and um, they don't need much. Um, it, it just works. It's autonomous or they are autonomous. In their own life there's not a whole bunch of togetherness uh, so somebody is somebody's wanted to bridge the gap they want to come together um this could be you Scorpio or they're the other person okay um, we'll jump into career and finance career and finance looks beautiful your dreams are coming to fruition um, you're you live in a life of luxury and abundance uh, you live lavishly. Um, you are working for your money, uh, so it's, it is. It's not exactly autonomous for you right now, but it doesn't look like the the work is laborious or, or it's not hard. Um, um, you may need to take a vacation here, or you need to meditate because um, the, the level of stress. Maybe you change careers here. Or you want to change careers um, it looks like some of you are in that in-between space of my job and then my business that I'm trying to grow it says that you want to have great fortune here um, the the change of career is the gift from the universe take it you have good news about money matters coming into you you may even want to learn something more challenging or do something more challenging I'm hearing commercial commercial I don't know what that is about commercial real estate uh, commercial and or you know, maybe you want to shoot a commercial you want to okay um right great fortune is here for you um some of you the fortune is tied in with another a counterpart could be a male you are the main female in their life we can also jump back into love here and we can see that um there's Somebody's got you on their mind, Scorpio. Or for my Scorpio males, you you have a main female. Not sure if they know that they're the main female, but 
you have them on your mind. Um, yeah, some of you, by way of marriage, your fortune is great. Uh, statistically, they say married people have more money than single people. So, of course, we, you know, we can just do the math on that, two incomes uh, versus one. Uh, so maybe there's a more, um, your fortune is, is tied into another person, a marriage here. Um, you feel like somebody's a soulmate or the end all be all, or this is how they feel about you. Uh, in terms, you feel like. They're smart. I just heard that. Um, it's a smart decision. You have a lot of passion for this person or this new job. You could be the main one at your job who gets things done, or you are the boss in your in your business of course um the journey to get you here to place of self-employment has been great and now you're ready to embark on something new so that old way of earning income maybe with uh, an establishment or corporation whatever is ending and now you're going on a journey to something new which is good for you but th the only caution here is plan well Make sure that the plan is executed at the right time. Um, strategize um, because I said some of you are in between worlds. I work a job, I have a business. So strategize of how you can come out of and go into. Because one situation of earned income is dying. It's not dead, but it is dying in your life. And you're going into new. So um, just make sure you, you are strategic in regards to that. Um, yep, that's, that's, career and finance looks great, so don't really have to say much about that. Um, jumping back into love, okay, um, what you want to tell your person? I'm healing from my upbringing, so maybe there was a bit of turbulence, um, drama, abuse, trauma, Maybe that's why you're so guarded. Or, or things just weren't so ideal and traditional for you. So you just want to make sure everything is right. Every, you know, T is crossed, I's dotted. Uh, in terms of, you know, um, maybe family and legacy. You want to tell your person you are so immature. And then you want to tell them that you're maturing. Um, okay, so you guys have some issues. That's okay. Um, your person wants to tell you that they're happiest when they're with you. And they want to say to you, forgive me, okay? Um, they also... They, they want to marry you. Um, and some of you, you or them could not be, is not telling the other your true intention. Someone is out to, yeah, someone has high standards. I have a sexy wife. Um, and someone is saying, you're just right for me. Okay. Um, there is love here and we have the love shell. You just have to figure out if you can convert that to long-term stability, longevity. Um, your career is being highlighted. Maybe there, like I said, there's a change of career. You're going into something new or you're just going after something new or a new business. Um, divorce. Uh, somebody's fantasizing about something old here. Um... Maybe you've divorced this person, or you need to divorce this person, or you're thinking about divorcing this person. 
but I think the memories keep someone tied to if someone's thinking about the person that they divorced, thinking if they could start it back up. I don't see any action cards in terms of outside of maybe getting some truth and clarity, but outside of, outside of that, I don't see any action cards in terms of you know actually restarting the connection. Um, so it could be a father or a father is, um, is a big deal here or, or you're with the father of your children or the father of your children wants, wants to come back to you. They're reminiscing about you um, or vice versa. I don't know. Someone feels like, I guess this to, to piggyback off of this, that someone has a, a great body sexy wife, so someone is very attracted to together, okay? Um, just to close to sign a little bit, so we have the new job, and when we see that new job, new career, new business, there's some newness happening in your finance and career sector. Um, some of you, you're daydreaming about someone, or you're thinking about going to someone and voicing your opinion about the relationship and how you feel and at sometimes you just you just you say I don't know what to say to you about us you know because you're so dumbfounded and lost and or this is how someone feels about you because there's a lot of um, guardedness or someone keeping someone at bay not really letting them into their life someone could be fantasizing about having sex with the other you or they um, so maybe an old person or someone that they're just not in communication with because someone feels like we need some sexual healing. Um, that could uh, bring us back to better terms, you or, or the other person. Um, but somebody is saying, not today. Come with something new and something better. Okay, so it's like someone is saying, I, 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 I just can't do the, the old us. I have to, it has to be something new. It has to be something better. There's also an energy of um, someone, a father, a male figure saying, I financially support you, so I'm going to do whatever I want. Um, there's someone who is trying to cross the line or has crossed the line, is not respecting boundaries um, because of just that. There's a false person here, okay? There's someone not being clear possibly about their intentions um about what they want from you or, or i don't know or this could be you being a false person oh about money you could be dealing with someone who's with you because they they, they see that you're fortunate or you're going to be fortunate someone is the love that they say they have for you, wow, it's not there because, see, they're being false because you are that. You are abundant. You have great fortune here. Uh, be careful. Um, and so I, I will say, I wasn't going to say it, but this card was also under here. Um, oh, it fell. Um, protect yourself. Burn your candles and wear your crystals. Um, yeah, burn your candles. Uh, take advantage of some of the candles on my website. You can buy candles from anywhere, though. Definitely black candles for protection. Put your Scorpio in there. Um, let's see. Well, no, we're good with that. Let's get you some closing advice, maybe in terms of these high standards that you have or someone has in regards to you. What's to happen in uh, in your love life? Okay, so we're gonna pull from the love oracle deck. Okay, um, let's see. there's a young male here. Um, yeah, a young male. Maybe so you're dealing with somebody who's younger than you. And it could be a new love. So, okay, so you're getting some clues here. Maybe go with the new love. I don't know. 
and, and see you're thinking about the past life or you feel like this person you could have had a past life connection with let's see work all right yeah um some of you have buried yourself in work and all you do is fantasize but you don't actually take any action in regards to um another person any other person it's a dark male here um family so you guys could have had a family here you're thinking about family who can you start a family with you want your family back you're throwing yourself into work to suppress these emotions these feelings So that's the message that I have for you. I hope that it resonated with you, Scorpio. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Also, um, take advantage of the text question. You can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question on your mobile device. Receive the answer to your question via text on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. All right, all information is below in the description box. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings.